Homo helmi is described as archaic Homo sapiens living 260,000 years ago. It was beetle-browed or unfriendly in appearance, the same size as us and with an average brain volume slightly larger than us at 1400 cubic centimeters. They represented the plateau as far as dramatic brain growth was concerned. They were also associated with the start of one of the most important revolutions in human technology known as the Middle Paleolithic. African fossils provide the best evidence for the evolutionary transition from Homo heidelbergensis to archaic Homo sapiens and then to early modern Homo sapiens. There is, however, some difficulty in placing many of the transitional specimens into a particular species because they have a mixture of intermediate features which are especially apparent in the sizes and shapes of their forehead, brow ridge and face. Some suggest the name Homo helmi for these intermediate specimens that represent populations on the brink of becoming modern. A larger and longer out of Africa movement during a warm period saw Homo helmi spreading throughout Eurasia 250,000 years ago. The single partial skull was discovered in 1932 by Professor T. F. Treya at the Flores Bad site near Bloemfontein in South Africa and was given the name Flores Bad skull. The Flores bat skull was classified as Homo helmi to mark its distinctiveness from other fossils of Homo sapiens. The age of the Flores bat skull has not been confirmed until today because what was recorded about the site gives serious pause to any attempt to work out the age of the hominin specimens. Methane emerging from the springs periodically erupted, mixing sediments through parts of the site where the skull and tooth were found, questioning their association and placement within the site. As for its taxonomy, Brink et al. say it may be an intermediate form between Homo heidelbergensis and Homo sapiens. The skull resembled early Homo sapiens but possessed many archaic features. Today, some researchers think many of the African hominid fossils from around this time should be lumped in the Homo helmi species. Others call them Homo heidelbergensis, considered by some anthropologists to be the last common ancestor of modern humans and Neanderthals. And then there are those who don't really know what to call them. The skull consists of frontal and parietal pieces and an incomplete left side of the face. The endocranial anatomy of the Flores bat skull displays a mosaic of derived and plasomorphic features which makes this fossil compatible with distinct phylogenetic scenarios. None of these traits are however strictly diagnostic in terms of taxonomy. Whether Flores bat should be classified as Homo heidelbergensis or Homo helmi has been a subject of prolonged debate. But with the anatomical features observed in Jebel Erhout specimen, Flores bat skull can be more securely described as an early Homo sapien form. Scientists say that the Flores bat cranium might be key to investigating the origin of our species. It could be from a very early population of Homo sapiens or an extinct group belonging to another independent parallel human lineage. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed it. For more videos like these, check our channel out and please do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then. This is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.